Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I have passed my renew AJ204 exam. Okay, AJ204 is Azure Developer Associate. So today I have passed this exam. I have passed this exam on October 2022. But uh, for your kind information, this uh, certificate is valid for only for one year. After completion of one year, it will expire the certificate is not will be valid so you need to uh, renew that certificate for extend one year more okay so for this uh, you have uh, you will get the date uh, date information on your outlook microsoft outlook mail your account or whatever account you have uh, gave this exam then uh, in completion of one year they, they will again give you mail on your respective uh, mail id uh, that uh, you can renew your uh, certificate you have completed completed your one year so so same mail i got on my uh, respective mail id so so today i gave this exam and uh, you can see this uh, my valid uh, certificate until 11 October 2024. Okay, this is Azure, Azure Microsoft Certify Associate. So I, uh, you can see this, I have passed this exam on today, 15 August 2023. And my total overall result is 60%. You need to pass, at least you gain 20, 60% marks percentage. So this one is my pass, you can see this. Okay, so guys, I have a that question with which I have attempt today. So I have noted down for you. So before, so I will show you that question that will be helpful for you for your uh, renew uh, Azure two hundred four exam. Okay, before proceeding further, guys, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the bell icon, and uh, it gives me huge motivation. Uh, to make that type of informative videos okay and uh, without any further delay let's start uh, one thing more guys if you uh, like my certificate will expire on 10 october 2023 okay till then you need to give attempt when you got mail on your respective mail id uh, then uh, you give uh, too many attempts and this exam is unproctored okay uh, this exam is not monitored by someone like uh, when you give the exam in your first first time on day time there is a proctor exam but now when you give your renewal uh, certificate exam they on day time you are you are have no uh, you this one is un, unproctored exam okay camera will be not on and uh, no one is uh, no one see you what you are doing you are cheating or anything else no one will see you okay and uh, second thing uh, you have question in your mind that how many attempt uh, there is in this exam uh, so this one is renewal exam okay so there is uh, too many a lot of attempts is, is there okay before uh, um, before completion of that uh, certificate like my my certificate is, certificate is valid 10 october okay so before 10 october uh, when you got the mail that uh, you are eligible to give the renew exam so uh, you can give that uh, exam a uh, lot of attempts you can give until you pass the exam but before the uh, expiry date update your certificate you need to clear before until your expiry date okay so you can give a lot of times many times you can give exam until you pass you clear the exam but uh, okay but uh, before the expiry date you give too many lot of attempts you can give until you pass okay and uh, i i am showing you with that question what what question today uh, asks in my exam 
uh, in your exam also uh, they will match uh, same question uh, with uh, me so i want to help you so so first question is uh, this one a company uses azure container instance for an application you need to ensure that the container are restarted when the process terminate with a non zero access code what should you do so this one is your option there is four option is there and that correct answer is this one okay and you need to some explanation how this uh, question is your how this answer this one is your correct answer you need to need to some explanation for understanding purpose so this this is your explanation okay you can read or understand okay i don't want to explain because if i will explain one by one then videos will become a long videos so you can study and uh, do yourself okay so this one is the question there is four option and correct one is define a container restart policy for of always and this one is your explanation if you want some explanation for clarity for your answer then you can see and the second question is this one you are developing a restful azure fun function app api that uses microsoft identity platform you implement the ask method to read user calendar okay what should you use if, again there is four five option is there okay and correct answer is this one use the scope okay this uh, this answer will be uh, match in your question in your exam also so before going go to the exam you must prepare uh, from my pdf uh, because i also refer to my friend pdf uh, which uh, question asks in his exam so the same question to uh, repeat in my exam also not uh, all all question but almost 2 3 5 6 question is repeated one so answer is this one okay and third question is a company plan to deploy in non interactive demo app to their azure tenant okay again there is uh, four option to so only one answer you can select that application is the answer and this one is your explanation if you want understand how this question what want this question you read this explanation okay and fourth question is this one you develop and imply deploy an azure app service web app so there is four option is again is coming then correct answer is this one okay this one is your correct answer this one is explanation fifth question is you are developing an app for a company devices that access the app must be enrolled in microsoft intune the app must not require additional code for conditional access you need to select an app type which type should you use again there is uh, four option is there you need to select only one select only one answer to so correct answer answer is single tenant mobile app okay and uh, there in down there is some explanation how this option is correct so this one is your explanation and six one question is a company is developing an on premises app that authenticates the azure active directory tree uh, which solution should you use there is also again five five, five five option is there so correct answer is device code okay and again there is explanation seventh question you can read and there is five option to so which one is correct uh, correct one is two stop delete and purge protection okay again explanation is coming this one is explanation eighth question is 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू प्लान टू प्रोविजन द फ्लोविंग रिसोर्स इन एजोर एप कंफिग्रेशन दे इज ऑप्शन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिलेक्ट ऑनली वन एंसर द करेक्ट आंसर इज थ्री हाउ दिस करेक्ट आंसर इज थ्री इज करेक्ट देन स्टडी दिस वन Ninth option is ninth question is you are developing an Azure based application. So select all answer that apply. So there is two answer is correct, and uh, this one is correct, and all explanation is there. So you can want to study, then you can study. And tenth question is you are developing an application. application store or application settings in the azure app configuration service and the only one answer is correct you can choose only one answer so there is all five option is there correct answer is this one and this one is explanation so guys all all 25 question is there and this one is 11th question and there is five option okay So which one you can select log ma based matrices and this one use explanation if you have time you can study and this one is twelve question okay develop and deploy several micro service to an Azure Kubernetes service okay and there is a option this one is your option. Okay, trace dependency matrices event. Correct answer is event, and this one is explanation. Thirteen question. You develop and deploy a Java web app to Azure Spring Cloud that include the latest application inside SDK. So this one is your question. You can read by yourself and uh, select uh, only one answer. So this one is your option. So correct answer is sampling, and this one is your explanation. Okay. And fourteen question. You plan to create a solution by using Azure Container App. You must configure the solution for auto scaling. This one is your question. Select all answer that apply. First is block count, CPU matrix, MySQL query, memory utilization, service bus queue. The correct answer is. This one, okay, and this one is your explanation. What is block container app? What is Azure container container app? What is block count? What is CPU matrices? Study. And fifteen question you plant. Fifteen question in this one, okay, and there is a option. These all are options. Okay, which one is correct? Correct answer is each container app must maintain its own versioning. Each container app should must support different upgrade cadence. Okay, and uh, this one is explanation. And sixteen question is this one is is explanation. If you want to study, they can study. Sixteen so question. You have an Azure Container App application name App One. Okay, App One uses an environment name App E N B One. Okay, again there is four four option is there. You can so answer right. Correct answer is App One E N B One. Again there is explanation. So ending question. You plan to create a solution by using Azure Container App. In a new provision, Azure subscription. Select all answer. All answer that apply. So this one is your option. So correct one is Microsoft App and Microsoft App Platform. And this one is explanation. Eighteen question is you need to publish a container image to Azure Container Registry, okay? And uh, this one is your option. Four option is there: Microsoft Arctic Card, Arctic Act, Registry Portal, Azure Cloud, Sell in the Azure Portal, Azure Container Registry Task to Page in the Azure Portal, Azure Container Registry Re Repositories. 
page in the Azure portal. Correct answer is this one. Okay. And some explanation. 19. Next question. 19. You create a custom image and publish the image to Azure Container Registry. Again, there is four options. Select only one, um, one option. Okay. So correct answer is SER task. And this one is explanation. 20. Number question. You develop and deploy a new Linux container to Azure Container Instances. What should you use? Select only one answer. So there is uh, five options is there. And correct one is Azure File Share. Yeah. And the 21 question is you are developing an application to store JSON document in an Azure Cosmos DB container. Okay, Cosmos DB container. Select only one answer. There are four options. Correct one is JavaScript. Okay. 22 question you are using Azure Cosmos DB.net SDK. There is option. There is four option. And that correct one is a database ID. 23 question. Uh, we create a Azure Cosmos DB NoSQL container. So select only one answer. So this one is your option. Which one you we can select? Correct answer is this one. And 24 question is you are implementing a change feed process by using .NET SDK as your Cosmos DB for NoSQL. Again, there is four options. Select only one answer. So correct is list container. And uh, okay. And the 25 question is you have created Azure Cosmos DB for NoSQL container. Okay, select only one answer. Delegate. So now, guys, we have com covered all twenty-five questions. So how many how many question asked in the renewal age two hundred four exam? So there is there is only twenty-five question okay and uh, you don't need to be scared or uh, not to be tensed okay because there is too many attempts i uh, clear this exam in my first attempt um, so no need to worry okay if you want that uh, any help in this exam then you can ask me in the comment section. I am always uh, ready for you, for your help. Okay, I am always available for your help. Now, that's all about uh, this exam. If you have any question again, then you can feel free to ask in the comment section. Okay, I will reply to you and I will help you as, uh, as much as possible. Okay. Now guys, I will meet you in my next video. Thank you for watching.